Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and the day that a lot of you guys have been waiting for has finally come, especially for the console player community. Now, what I'm talking about is obviously what you're seeing on screen right now, the console drop of the R&R &R Yeti 5500. Now, as of recording this video, this truck is available across all Xbox and PlayStation consoles, and you guys can actually get on your mod browser and check it out today, and of course, download it, enable it, and use it in-game. Now, in order to find it the easiest and quickest way, you're going to want to press sort and filter and once you go to the sort and filter menu you can actually go down here and make sure you have it sorted by latest update with the little arrow on the left pointing down or at least highlighted down a lot of people usually have this either on popular today or date added or popular overall but again if you want to be able to see the latest updates make sure you have this set to uh, date updated and that will also show you the latest mods to drop on console like for example Today, it shows the Yeti 5500, also the upgraded F750, and right there in the middle, the Money Setup mod, or the Track Day Dawn, basically everything that has had the latest updates pushed to it. So now we're going to subscribe to the Yeti 5500, which comes in at 706.4 megabytes, and we're going to download it, see how long it takes to download, which shouldn't be too long on my internet connection here, and then we're going to enable it and see how many vehicles we can actually have enabled and active at the same time on my Xbox Series X with this particular mod enabled so once it downloads which shouldn't take too much longer let's see how much we can have actually turned on at the same time now once again I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know once again there it is it's downloaded but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know once again that this footage was all recorded on an Xbox Series X and the performance on your console may or may not be different just to go ahead and let you guys know so let's go ahead and click accept we'll wait for it to whoa cannot enable mod try to disable other mods got it okay so let's go ahead and sort by subscribed only and now we're going to turn off let's start with the type s100 okay so if we turn the arnie type s100 off we can turn the yeti 5500 on and as you can see, it basically maxes out our memory. However, we actually have turned on right now the Yeti 5500, the Money Setup Mod, the Can Jam UTV, Lime's 2017 L400, Red's Gooseneck Pack, Stakes 4x4, CCM CORR, and the Powerhouse, the original L400, the 63 Diesel Mega Truck, and let's see. Well, we could probably turn on Frog side by side if we turn off the Powerhouse. Let's see. Turn off the Powerhouse and. Wow, so we can. Okay, so that does prove to me that the uh, the Yeti 5500 is pretty freaking big. Although, now that we have the 2017 L400, we can disable that and uninstall it. That way, we can free up just a little bit of extra space for us. However, we cannot enable the Yeet Mobile right now. But let's see, 63 Diesel Mega. And even if we turn off the 63 Diesel Mega, we cannot turn on the Yeet Mobile. But if we turn off Frog side by side... Oh, even then we can't turn on the Yeet Mobile. Okay, so we're gonna, it's gonna take some playing around here with memory, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right back into it once we get out onto a map so you guys can see any and all of the features that come included with the Yeti 5500. Now, in order to demonstrate all of the features of the Yeti 5500 on console to you guys, I've made sure to use one of the best testing maps in this game to date, which is Stadium Super Trucks. Now, Stadium Super Trucks is available on all consoles, and one of the best features of this map is the fact that right off the bat, you can do a very simple task that will get your rank all the way up to max rank, which is rank 30. And then I've also used the money mod to obviously boost my in-game account, as you can see right there, to over $10 million in game. Actually, $10,104,999. So now here we are in the scout section of the garage and you can see, or rather the dealership, and you can see the Yeti 5500 there priced at 26000 or sorry, 25650 and the Can Jam priced at 15500 Now, these are definitely, I would consider them companion mods or companion vehicles. And I, of course, highly recommend grabbing both of them because the 5500 has a few special features that are specially made to work with the can jam or work in conjunction with it now we're gonna go ahead and buy a yeti 5500 and build it up now straight off the bat we're gonna do the 67 ho now the 67 ho is definitely gonna be the highest power output that we can get and that's what's going in here now we're definitely also going to do dave's transmission tune now dave's transmission tune is obviously going to be a little bit more gnarly than the other two but trust me you want it you absolutely want it now suspension wise 
we actually have quite a good variety of suspension options here. We have the stock Yeti suspension, the Yeti lift kit, heavy hauling, heavy hauling lifted, and super lift. Now, super lift is definitely going to be the one that you're going to use should you be taking this thing down any trails or maybe doing some obstacle course racing or whatever it is that you happen to decide to do. And if you're going to be using this thing for heavy work, I would definitely recommend either the heavy hauling or the heavy hauling lifted. Heavy hauling lifted basically allows you to have the same tow capacity with a higher lift and larger tires. So because this one is going to be a hauling focused build, we're going to go with the heavy hauling lifted. And tires wise, this is where the list gets incredibly long. Now you're going to start out with a 40 inch tire, which is already huge to begin with. And that's going to be Rexy's Nitto Terra Grappler Dually. Now, as you go through, you also have Risky's Interco Bogger Dually, Tractor Tire Dually, which these tractor tires are actually the same tractor tires that you had access to on the Powerhouse. Now, Risky's Tractor Tires, again, these are a little bit different, but you've also got Pitbull Rockers, TSL Boggers, you've got Super Terras, which are basically more of an agricultural tire, you've got Creepy Crawlers, you've got Diffuse Tires, you got Puppy Master's Bug Tires as well, Risky's Super Swampers, Risky's Trepidors, BFG ATs, and BFG KM3s, as well as a single version of the Interco Boggers along with the Scrambler ATs and tractor tires themselves in singles, Interco Thornbirds and Terra Grapplers in singles, and then the entire list repeats in the 44-inch tire size. Now, for this particular build, we're going to go with the 44-inch uh, Nitto Terra Grappler Dooleys, and just to show you guys, I'm going to go through the rest of the list right here, and like I said, it goes down to a couple more options here when you get into the mud tire category. You have 40 and 44-inch versions of Quasi's mud tires if you prefer for those, although the wheel selection is pretty much limited to one wheel, so you better like that particular wheel. And then as far as chain tires go, you have studded variants of Quasi's mud tires as well for use in those snowy and icy environments. So let's go back down to the tires we were originally going to go with, which are the 44-inch Terra Grappler Dooleys. Now we get into the winch, which you get one option. That's the battery-powered winch. Spare wheel is the spare Interco Thornbird, which we're not going to put on this truck, but we'll put it on another build that we do later in the video. And then here on the back, you have CB antennas that can go either on the left or the right side of the truck bed, the custom flatbed, which can be switched out at any time in the garage, custom cargo hitch, and let's see where that actually is. Whoa. Custom cargo hitch, huh? There's gooseneck trailer hitch. Whoa. Whoa. Custom cargo hit. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's kind of... Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Look at the... Oh, that's that's kind of cool. It literally hangs out like over the back of the truck. So I'll do that just to see what it looks like. And then I'll do the gooseneck hitch as well. And let's see, snowboard with Yeti design in the bed. I definitely recommend doing that if you're going to be doing any kind of role plays, but I would avoid it if you have the gooseneck hitch already in there. And then of course the stock bed, which can be removed as well. So now we're going to go over to the rear bumper, which is the custom r, &R plate and custom risky plate. I mean, at the end of the day, you can switch those out to your liking. Rooftop wise. Now, rooftop wise, you have the headache rack, which we're going to go ahead and put in. You have the ladders, which can go on the ladder rack itself, which we're not going to do on this build, but just know that they are there. You can also do the custom bed roll bar and, of course, the custom roof rack, which I will do the roof rack on this one because I really, really like it. And then, if you do decide to do the ladder rack, you have multiple positions for the Yeti snowboard, along with the spare rooftop supplies, which this will be getting. Or you can go with the custom UTV rack and the custom UTV rack over cab, which the over cab rack can be used with the gooseneck trailers and you can actually put the can jam all the way up on top of the cab which is really really cool now front bumper wise you have the custom rigid bumper and the weighted version thereof which we're going to be doing the weighted version because this is a hauling build and then also we have custom weighted versions of multiple other variants of these bumpers including a matte colored version of the stock bumper so we're going to do the weighted rigid bumper and miscellaneous wise we have spare bed supplies we have spare bed jerry cans uh spare cargo hit supplies which actually go right there beyond like behind the tailgate of the truck you can actually put the jerry cans back there as well trunk supplies and a bed toolbox which the bed toolbox is definitely going to go in this truck there's a lot of extra support items you can put on this thing so you also have the custom fabricated grill the fifth gen grill and the fourth gen grill should you choose to go that route but i'm going to go the route of the custom fabricated grill now for the exhaust you have the axle dump which is definitely going to be the one we're going to use on this build however if you prefer the stacked options you have stacked 
backs that can go in the front of the bed, which will also move the toolbox back and actually interface with it so they don't clip. So you have a lot of options there in terms of stacks. Now with these wheels, you only have the generic dually uh, rims, which is fine. I'm not really, you know, not really too bothered about that. But what I do love about this truck is the fact that you have a gigantic range of colors to choose from. And also the tow hooks, the winch, the diff covers, the the coilovers, and actually a couple of pieces of the steering assemblies as well. And if you like camo colors, you're absolutely going to love this thing because it has tons and tons and tons of them to choose from. And they're basically all a bunch of camo versions of a lot of the stock colors that you can choose. But this one is going to get a solid color. It's going to be solid orange. And then, of course, you could throw beans on the dash. And if you want to throw some accessories in there, you can, like, for example, the dice. So now it's time to leave the garage and show you guys some of the trailer options that you have access to with this truck as well. I love that hitch mount for the jerry cans that looks really really cool so let's fire it up sounds so good so good now of course the purpose of that weighted bumper is so it can help keep the front axle down when you're hauling heavy loads and speaking of heavy loads you're definitely going to be doing that with this particular vehicle because not only do you have the whoa okay so that's actually blocked by that little bumper carrier which is fine let's see you have access to the rnr customs toy hauler in black which by the way to clear up any confusion at all this trailer and all of the other toy haulers and goosenecks are included with this particular truck when you download it so once you think about it from a memory standpoint these trailers are one of the reasons why this truck comes in at over 700 megabytes rather than four or 500. So at the end of the day, it's a really, really worthwhile option though. And I definitely recommend giving these trailers a try as you can actually lower the rear door and load vehicles up inside these toy haulers. So you have the toy hauler in black, of course. You also have the toy hauler in white somewhere down the line. There it is. And then you also have the remastered wedge trailer that you had access to on the 3500 Big Moose. And then there should be a flatbed gooseneck in here somewhere there it is yep so all of these trailers are fully available to you guys and i'm actually going to go with the white toy hauler so we're going to go ahead and hook that up and oh man there's actually quite a quite a decent sized slope to it with the lifted suspension but i wouldn't worry about it too much and at this point you are basically ready to go on any adventure that you can think of any adventure that your heart desires you can basically go ahead and tackle any terrain any map and any scenario whether that is a mod map or in campaign and you could basically go to town with this truck so now we're gonna go ahead and shut this one down go back into the garage and build another one now the reason why we're going to build another one is because we're going to actually explore some of the add-ons that interface with the can jam itself so back to the truck store we go and we're gonna scroll over to where the Yeti and the can jam are pick up another uh, another Yeti and we're gonna grab the top engine again the Dave transmission again and we're going to do the heavy hauling lifted again so now let's do some 44 inch tires but they're gonna be a little bit different this time so we're gonna actually go with a set of singles on this one now I know that that might look odd to some of you with the dually fenders in the back but to be honest these BFG KM3s in particular are very very wide and they still fill out those fenders really well in my opinion so now we're going to let's see I'm not gonna worry about any of that stuff uh, let's do rooftop and we're gonna do the well actually because of the fact that we're gonna do the can jam we're gonna throw the custom UTV rack up there we're going to do the uh, stock mat bumper in the front just to change things up a little bit we're also going to do some hmm let's say fourth gen grill on this one and an axle dump exhaust because obviously we have the rack up there and with these BFG tires you have a gigantic range of wheels to choose from like for example these AEV wheels which I absolutely love but you're sure to be able to find something in this list that you like for example you've, you've got these steel rota wheels which I didn't even know were in there the last time I checked you've also got these Coda off-road wheels in black or white which really you can choose from any of these and set the truck up to your liking this one is going to be red I really do dig how that looks although I may go back and switch out those wheels because I'm not too big of a fan of them we're going to actually go with the AEV wheels with the red bolts so now obviously once again we're going to put beans on the dash a little bit of a quicker build this time now we're going to leave the garage once again and this is going to be our can jam hauling rig so let's find a good spot to load up somewhere with a ramp it's got to be somewhere that has a decent enough ramp that we can use to get the little uh, the little can jam up in there now or I should say up on there 
Now, let me see. Now, obviously, there isn't really that many loading ramps, or there aren't really that many loading ramps on this map, but this should do fairly okay. It, whoa! All right, bicycle for a second. Let's not do that again. It should be able to climb right up. I feel like it shouldn't have all that many issues. I mean, the cam jam is pretty good at climbing up onto things. So I feel like if we position the truck there with the handbrake on in reverse with obviously a can jam with a lift kit, we should be able to get up there just fine. So moving over to the can jam in the garage and grabbing the can jam itself. Very quick build. You guys have seen my uh, full reveal video or full console drop video on this vehicle on my channel. And if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend going and watching it. Also, if you haven't seen my money mod video, definitely go and check that out as well. So generic UTV tire two, that's all done. Got the rear spare on the back. Also got the body color roof and the black wheels, and we're also going to paint this thing blue so it contrasts nicely to the red on the Yeti. So now we're going to go ahead and head down to the end of the runway, or I shouldn't say runway, but rather drag strip where the Yeti is, or I should say the other Yeti, and whoa! Also keep in mind that, like I said, the back door of that trailer slash toy hauler fully opens and you can place this vehicle or any other vehicle that can fit inside that trailer and you can pack it. So let's make our way down there. Let's get this thing up in the third. It's a little slow in second, isn't it? Whoa! Okay, it sends it in third, though. All right, now this should go absolutely swimmingly. And there we are. So see how easy that is when you don't try to do it some weird back way? Yeah, um, I would highly recommend using an elevated surface because if you don't, you're going to be in big trouble really, really fast. But now you can pack the can jam up there on top of your Yeti and you can head out for whatever adventures you plan on getting yourself into. So let's make our way up and over this thing because that's... Oh, that guardrail is not going to keep us contained for long. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to eliminate your thoughts and opinions on not only this video, but this truck as well in the comment section down below. Let me know how the performance of it has been for you on consoles. Let me know how it's been running. Let me know how many mods you can have on uh, with this one on. And of course, let me know what console you are on in the comment section down below. And that's going to do it for this full console reveal of the r, &R Yeti 5500. And of course, make sure you're subscribed and have those notifications on so you can always be in the loop of the future updates. But that's going to do it once again for this video, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.